What do you reckon about the accommodations, Kristen? Really sweat cleaner than last time. Aren't, aren't you extremely hot? No. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's roasting in here. We've got the fires cranking, the heat is going, burning a hole in my pallet case. And there's another heater right there. So and there's two heaters going in the fire. Look at Kristen. <coughs> so that's three I heaters. Look Kristen. It's because I'm so skinny and lonely. Halivision. Wow, oh, this is a bit of a treat, isn't it, lads? Incredible. <laughs> That's a tuna. What's the other one? The other one is something that's really electrical with a horn and stuff. Oh, we're ready to rock and roll. The boat's ready to go. All the reels are good to go. They've all got blimmin' leader tied onto them and the rock not and the rest of it. I'm just trying to get the family out the door. Are you not gonna watch any other in the road, Charlie? Yeah, we picked up as it, I mate as it. Last time I stayed here I had uh the gravel. Roy's just checking his trap line and then this afternoon we're gonna meet him at the wharf and he's gonna come out for a fish. Hey mate, you ready? Whoa! Good crash! Whoa, what, what was that? Big jump! Good work! Did you boys see that? Sonny did a jump on his motorbike and crashed. I'm doing a very big jump. Boys yes. Yeah. Boys have got a bit of a hut here. Is this your hut? Yeah, I've got a little seat here. Sweet. And I got that bit over there, which I like playing in. Obviously made for little people. Oh, yep, you got a nice rubbish collection in here too. Oh, there's a like a rat trap. Sweet. And then look, Dad, it's so good. A rat trap that hasn't been used in months. I think that's a rat trap. I don't quite know what that is. What? Oh, sweet. It's got its own seesaw. Surfboard. I need a rub. Just when you thought we were ready to go, we we're not actually ready to go. Let's go. Get in the truck now. Jack, let's go. Come on. Mama. Jesus, mother of Mary. I'm too windy. Oh, it's a giant fish shark. Stink. There's fish there, but they're not fighting. Fish on! Fish on! Look out, Sonny. Oh, fish off again. Catch and release. Any bites, Jack? Is that? I need to go Here, on Olivia, my dog. Make this on. <laughs> what you got, Ezra? I don't know, mate. Soon find out. Oh, uh, what? What is it? It's a foul hook banded wrasse. <laughs> Blooming it. That's it, we're moving. Banded wrasse. Wind up, Charlie, wind up. <laughs> Maybe you should drop something in there. <laughs> you want to go back, Sonny? Yeah, all right. We'll drop drop Sunny and Kristen back up to the to the wharf there. You off there, Sunny? I was just gonna 
See you later. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. You might want to come out. Oh, is that a fishing? Patty and Reese, mate. It's Patty and Reese. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yep, mate. <laughs> they should have called him Gruntfish. I'm afraid we'll have to keep this, sorry. I, I had a little pig fish and the red cod's come and gulped the pig fish and then I've caught the red cod. <laughs> Minta! Come back! Ah! This is a big fish! Maybe it's a medium, I'm not sure. Hey! Hold her up. Rod and rod holder, bro. All right, we're gonna go in, have a cup of tea. We're feeling, all feeling a little bit woozy, but seasick. And then we're gonna go get some crayfish, some power, and hopefully some blue nose. That's the plan anyway. What do you reckon, Charlie? Mate, look at that, look, hold that, hold that sucker up. Oh, it's a perler. <laughs> What's going on here, eh? Holy shit! shit. Oh, look at the Holy size of it! <laughs> now, who caught it, eh? Who caught the biggest fish of the day? That gutsy thing's got both hooks in it. Has it? It's got oh. both of them in there. Oh, don't let him go! Grab it, grab He's going to get away! Yeah, the boat. Jesus! <laughs> Bloody hell, he's eating both baits! Yeah, oh, there <laughs> Camera tricks, eh? What? Yeah, this one's heavier, your one's heavier. Whoa! Are you sure? Oh, it has it just snapped the rod. The old Abu Garcia, clean in half. Couldn't handle the azinator. Too much fish. muscle. On oh, a dog stinking dogfish, dog eh? <laughs> Ruin's on again. Yeah, another stinking dogfish. There he is, the rod, the rod snapper. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, look at that. Tara Key. No. <laughs> I haven't ever caught a Tuki that is undersized. Tuki! You'll know it's going to be a squat tree, I think it. There you go, almost all the way to the back. I haven't done it before in the past, Max Payne. Yeah, you do it then. Oh, cheer. Cheer. Hello, Dad. Hello, Sonny. You want to come in? Ready for dinner, boys? Trucks are better than TV, eh, Sonny? Fish is yummy. What are you? A gurney. And what are you? A John Deere. A John Deere. A John Dory. Oh, a John Dory. Tractor John fish. John Dory. Oh, John Dory. Are you a John Dory? Yes. It's another glorious day here in Jackson Bay. Just waiting for Royden and Azza to turn up. Boys must have slept in. Me and Charlie have been awake for two hours, chomping at the bit. Yes. Any second now, the boys are going to roll down the highway. Hopefully. I can hear the ocean. Might be a bit lumpy out there. Hopefully we're going to get out for some blue nose today and groper. I spent all last night putting GPS marks into the Simrad. Well, not all last night. I spent about an hour last night putting GPS marks into the Simrad. So now we've got some marks for some harpooka. However, my transducer doesn't see past 250 metres, which is a really real bugger. It's a real bugger. Uh, Simrad and Fluid Electronics are upgrading my transducer pretty soon, hopefully. 
and fingers crossed providing me with the radar so we'll be able to go on safer missions later at night but for now we're just waiting for Royden and Azza The old D-Max doesn't want to engage in four-wheel drive. It doesn't want to go on a low. It'll go on four high after a lot of reversing and driving and reversing and driving and turning on and turning off, but it's not going into four low. Bloody frustrating. We're taking the good old Nissan Patrol, Nissan Safari. Here, key in the sea perch shot. Just drop it back down with the sea perch. What's going on there? Look, stand it again. Oh, where did that come undone? Just here. Right, pull it into the boat. Well, the bloody heart pocket fishing isn't going so good so far. I'm starting to feel sick. As is drinking the beer. Feel sick. Sea legs, mate. Sea legs. After catching sea perch after sea perch after sea perch and no blue nose or hard pocket, we're bloody out of here. We're gonna go catch some Terracan blue cod. Oh, we're all feeling a bit green. <laughs> <laughs> the green around the gills. Oh. I'm very, very close to losing my breakfast here. Yeah, that's the same. It'll be a, it'll be a waste of good bacon. Jesus, putting up some bloody punch on there. <laughs> yeah. Don't put your head too close, Charlie, in case the hook pulls. No, it's um, What do you got? It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a fish. Yeah, it's a cowboy. Me. Easy cowboy. It's a sashimi. Don't let it get away. Gaffy. Oh, oh, come on, Gaffy. Go. <laughs> come on, Gaffy. Hook it in for sashimi. Don't do it. Just ignore Charlie. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Come on Charlie, get it! Come on, get him! Jesus! Bend that guy! Whoa, that's yeah. it! Let him in! Let him in! Oh, oh bro, oh. you, you gut shot him! <laughs> Yo, gut shot! <laughs> oh, Guys, geez, man? look how fat he is! Yeah, that's a real fatty, isn't it? Oh, I was just getting ready to go for a dive and get a crayfish and as I caught us a car wife for sashimi. I might have to eat that when I get back from my dive. I don't have any hot water but I've got a thermos full of tea so I'm pouring tea. Got t a mixture of tea and Lynx deodorant, no Lynx, what do you call it? Body soap. Oh. <laughs> Can't see anything. Here's the gut, she's unloaded. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> yep, yeah, bloody dogfish. Coming over some fish here, boys. We're just in Nick's secret fishing spot. That's Nick over there, and this is his fishing spot. Oh, look at all those fish. Uh, Nick can keep a secret fishing spot because we're not bloody catching anything. We're gonna go hide around the point of the point where it's sheltered. Have some sashimi, fill up some fish. This is shit as. How's your day going? It's going well, mate. It's going well. The uh, weather is shit, and I reckon we should go and hide around the corner. <laughs> you, you wouldn't believe what I just did. We're cruising along, and as it goes, oh, is that full speed? No, 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 put the hammer down, oh, this is full speed. Oh, look, she goes pretty good, and we're fanging her on, and then, 
Flynn Warden goes, Oi, there's something following us out the back there. <laughs> we, we look out the bank and the anchor's skipping along behind the boat. Because I've forgotten to put the bloody anchor up over there before we took off again. Oh, he's pretty good. Mate. I haven't been drinking just for the record, as has been having a couple of beers, but I have not been drinking. It's just one more cock up in the line of cock ups over the years. And it didn't even tangle around the engine. I don't know how it managed to avoid the propeller, but it did. Mate, that was lucky, eh? That was extremely lucky. Well, that was it. That was the day's fishing and the ocean's just turning to custard now. Southwest has hit. Swell maps predicting one and two tomorrow, which is really bad conditions, so bugger. That's our fishing over. Yep. Oh, oh, he was keen, oh, hey. We're going to go on your track. You go on your track. <laughs> You be careful up there. Careful, don't fall off. I can't remember who it was that told me this, but if you put the kinner in the creek, it was one of you fellas, put the kinner in the creek, sweetens them right up, so put them in the creek overnight, I'm going to see how they taste today. I'm going to take them home to Ross actually, put them in the chilli bin on ice, take them home, and then I'm going to get a whole bunch of kinner and freeze it for kinner butter further down the track. Yeah. This is our fresh mountain stream, I was a little bit concerned because of the rain, I thought the kinner was actually going to wash away, but it's still here. Well, they're not very creamy condition at the moment, they're not very good condition, but putting them in this creek has certainly made a difference. So, definitely recommend that to all you followers out there that want to sweeten your kinners up, chuck them in the creek. You want to Just pulled in a Lake Peringa here to give the engine a bit of a flush out and also give the boat a bit of a wash. I think it's quite good for the boat to get a bit of fresh water up in there. Wash all that salt water out of the inside. And... He's only the capsule. Got home just in the nick of time. <laughs> Holy crap. Good dogs. Kawa? Yeah. How are those little fish bites, dear? They're good. The kids don't like them, though. Did you ever think there'd be a day when you said kinna is delicious? No. Because even earlier today, I said it smelled like human shit. 
Mommy's sweet and naughty! And her big muscles! How's it? You fellas may have noticed at certain points in the video I was tying a few knots here, which is a pretty important part of fishing is tying the old knots. Uh, there's plenty of knots out there I don't know, and there's some I know really well, and some I'm still learning to tie. So I definitely recommend tying as many knots as you can, learning new knots, and learning what applications to use those knots in. So, the two knots I'm going to show you today are the uni knot, a bloody good all-rounder, and also the twisty, sticky up, loopy knot. I don't actually know what the name for this one is. Maybe if someone knows they can comment below, but I'm just going to call it the twisty, sticky up, loopy knot. Alright, the first one is a, a dropper rig, or it can just be a standing looper loop that stands stiff out the edge of the line. Okay, to make the twists, you just twist them in different directions and start working the line like this. Twist it again, start working the line. And as you're working the line backwards and forwards, just keep twisting it. There you go. Alright, once you've done that, then you want to pinch the bottom there just to lock it off. We've got that pinched and we just need to tie a bunch of overhands so I'll tie that now it's a good idea it's a good idea not to let this loop here as you're tying the overhands get too big you don't want that too big otherwise it gets a little bit tricky to finish the knot off all right all right let's keep tying those overhands I'm gonna start at one end and work all the way around this loop at one seven now because this is a hundred pound leader here I'm only gonna go seven you could probably go six, but my theory is if you tie seven, it's easier to find the odd loop in the middle than if you tie six, you might only get two on one side and four on the other. So let me just count the amount of twists. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. All right, now that we've got our seven overhands tied, I'm going to find the middle of those twists and just open a little hole there with my fingernails you can use a hook for this or a pen works really well too or a stick all right see i've got that hole open all right let's just get this tail out of the way so it's less confusing all right there we go and now there's my stand-up twist there jack please don't bump that mate just let it go and now we've got the stand-up twisty knot thing we're just going to put that through that loop pull it all the way through now i'm going to wet it hold this in my teeth and pull these, whoop, do I go the way through? Yep. Pull these in opposing directions. And when they snug up nice and tight, you can see there's our stand up loop. Ta da! Now that we've got this loop done, that's it. It's a good rig for blue cod or tarakihi or hapuka, any kind of fish that doesn't feed right on the bottom. Now the other knot you followers may or may not have seen me tie is the uni knot. This is a really good all rounder and if I was going to learn one knot or recommend people learn one knot for any fishing application, well almost any fishing application, the uni knot would be it. It's relatively easy to tie, it's an extremely strong knot and it works for almost all fishing applications. You can put hooks on, sinkers on, you can join lines together with a double uni knot. It's really, really good knot. Pretty simple to tie. I'm just going to pretend these scissors are my hook, lack of a hook. So we go through there. Once you've gone through that, you come back around. See that there? So I've gone, I'm going to come closer because it's kind of hard for you fellas to see. Wait, I'll just wait till it's focused on my hand and then push the manual focus. There we go. Okay, so we go through once, once, well, bloody hell. I wish I could make little. Uh, cartoon things of this. Alright, there we go. So come through the eye of the hook like so. This is the tag end. With the tag end, come back around again until it's a little bit hard to tie on scissors. There we go. That makes more sense. See that? Until you've got one loop going around. And then with the tag end, you just go around at least seven times. Seven. Alright, once you've gone around seven times, give it a little wet. Now pull your tag end first till those loops just cinch themselves up. And once those loops have cinched themselves up, I'll come in closer, pull the whole thing down. And they'll tighten themselves up like so. Work them nice and neat. And there we have it. One uni knot. 
is, where's the focal point there? Somewhere in there. Oh, you fellas get the idea. So at least seven times. Trim the tag off. Oh, <laughs> I was looking for my scissors. They're right here. I don't quite know how I'm going to trim the tag off that. Yeah. I mean, I'm just have to, going to have to... Hmm. Aha! Secretaires. There we go. Trim the tag off. Oh, Secretaires aren't going to work because they're blunt. Urgh.